100 miles per hour speed may have been factor in C. Rash K. Ilinter de Palm Springs cyclist, CHP says, one person was killed and two others were injured Saturday in a collision involving bicyclists and a car witnesses said was moving as fast as 100 miles per hour along the Tour de Palm Springs route, near Indio Hills. The collision was reported at 9.25 a.m. on eastbound Dillon Road, south of Tinker Road. Numerous bicyclists participating in the Tour de Palm Springs were traveling eastbound on Dillon Road as the vehicle, a sedan, came from behind and veered into the westbound lane and then went off the roadway onto the dirt shoulder where the driver lost control, California Highway Patrol Sergeant Isaiah Key said. The vehicle then veered back across the roadway into the eastbound lane struck two bicyclists, and continued over a dirt berm and rolled. One cyclist was pronounced dead at the scene. A second cyclist was airlifted to a hospital with serious injuries and the driver of the car was taken by ambulance to an area hospital for moderate injuries, CHP Sergeant Isaiah Key said. Several of the cyclists told investigators the car was traveling at more than 100 miles per hour, he added. Related road closures for the Tour de Palm Springs The roadway is mostly straight but with a lot of hills. The posted speed limit is 50 miles per hour speed may have prevented the driver from seeing the cyclists early enough to slow down and avoid hitting them, Key said. There were so many participants that it was easy to see that there were bicyclists coming. Not like you are traveling down the road and all of a sudden encounter a few bicyclists, Key said. The crash occurred as cyclists in the tail end of that portion of the race passed through the area, Key said, adding that he didn't believe officials rerouted other cyclists. The CHP is investigating the crash and no other information about the deceased or injured cyclist and driver was immediately available. Whether drugs or alcohol were involved is still under investigation, Key said. Dillon Road was closed for a short time to allow a helicopter to land and emergency crews to investigate. Michael Stearns, a spokesman for the Tour de Palm Springs, said later Saturday that the group was still collecting information and didn't have enough details to comment on the crash. The area where the crash occurred is part of the Tour de Palm Springs 100-mile ride route. Beginning at 6.30 a.m., Cyclists headed north out of downtown Palm Springs and gradually made their way to Worsley Road in North Palm Springs. From there, they turned east on Dillon and were supposed to make their way to Indio and then Thermal before returning west through other Coachella Valley cities. This is at least the second time a fatality occurred during the Tour de Palm Springs. In 2014, an Alta Loma woman was killed when she was hit by a pickup at Avenue 60 and Harrison Street in Thermal. Authorities said Levin Coster, 55, who was at mile 67 of the 100-mile route, rode into the path of a Dodge truck and was thrown from her bike. She was pronounced dead at John F. Kennedy Memorial Hospital in India. CHP investigators said Coster ran a stop sign and the pickup's driver was not at fault. Desert Sun reporter Colin Atagi contributed to this report.